What's up everybody on YouTube land? This is uh, Ken with another video as always. Um, so yeah, this uh, as you can tell is the Super Game Boy. Another eBay find. Uh, picked it up for a low, low price of $10, $3 shipping. Um, another thing that I did sit on for a while till I got a good price. Um, the, the cool feature about this uh, Super Game Boy is, of, of course, you put your Game Boy games in it. So it only works with the original Game Boy, not the Game Boy Color. Uh, well, it does work with some Game Boy Color that has the uh, concaved, um, you know, logo where it's sunken in. If it has a convex, then those ones are just specifically for a Game Boy Color. So with this uh, uh, original Game Boy game, you can just put it in. And, the, and you could, you know, uh, just to give you a, an idea how big it is on the Super Game Boy, the actual size. Um, and then you put this in. And then... You put, of course, you put your uh, Game Boy game in the top, and it slides in, and then you turn it on, and then you get the Super Game Boy logo, and then you get Mario Land, and as you can tell, it's not in color. Some There are some games that um, will say Super Game Boy. Um, on them like in a little like a little symbol on the on kind of like the label where usually where you see that um it'll say something about super game boy and that just means that uh the color palette is more designed for the uh super game boy um you know so that as you can tell this is a just you know like one solid color and I'm just kind of reaching for the Super Nintendo controller. So if you hold the, uh, I think you have to hold both the side buttons down. Yeah, and then you get this little pop-up menu. And then you can, you know, change colors and stuff like that. So I'm just doing this one-handed. But yeah, um, I'm trying to. Sometimes it takes a little while for it to respond, but yeah, you can move this little hand over, and then like you can change certain colors around. Like let's see, if I go to black, and if I. Trade. Well, let's see. I'll trade this out for the black. Do I have to be dead on it? Maybe I have to be dead on. See? And how it changes the, the color scheme. Maybe you can play it like that. You know, and you can change the backgrounds and all that. I'm doing this one handed, so obviously I'm not going to be able to show you everything. Um, the way I want to but yeah it's just a quick video so yeah I got this for low low price of ten dollars um, so yeah uh, it's, yeah it's kind of cool how I have a Super Nintendo sitting right next to uh, the, the I guess the predecessor or the successor side by side um, you know, the PlayStation, which was supposed to be the Super Nintendo. Uh, funny story, look it up. Um, basically, Super Nintendo was supposed to uh, have a CD add-on and Sony was going to do it. So Sony just decided to do their own console after um, Nintendo dropped the ball on it. So, yeah, it's one of those stories that people like to tell time and time again. But... Uh, yeah, I used to, uh, I, I, I never owned the Super Game Boy, but my, my buddy in high school, he had a Super Game Boy, and I'll borrow it from time to time.
to play my Game Boy Pocket games, which are just, you know, Game Boy games on the Super Game Boy, so I can get them in uh, full screen, if you will, or it, it never fills up the screen because you'll, you'll have the, the borders going around the screen, and you can change the borders and all that. Um, but yeah, if you, if you're going to buy a, a Super Game Boy, um, I wouldn't pay any more than 20 bucks unless you're watching this video five years from now and it's getting rare, rare as shit. But, uh, if, if, if you see it on eBay, probably 10 to $20, um, definitely $10 is going to be the, the low end. Uh, if you get it boxed, you know, uh, with the manual and all that stuff, then you'll probably be paying around 50. Um, so yeah, you can get it boxed. Um, you know, uh, sometimes you might find it $25 boxed, uh, depends on the condition of the box. All, all Super Nintendo games for the most part, as far as I, all I know, um, have came in cardboard, including the, this, the Super Game Boy. Um, there was a Super Game Boy 2. It only came out in Japan. And I guess it had a little bit more features than the Super Game Boy. But we never seen it. Uh, the Super Game Boy 2 that did come out. Um, it had a... Um, on the side here, it had a exit port um, for to hook up an actual Game Boy. So you could do like, um, you know, your multiplayer type thing. Um... It also was clear, so it was like a clear plastic case, translucent, translucent, um, or people like to call it the crystal case. Uh, so if you get those, um, I think they will work on American Super Nintendo, but I, I would probably look that up if you're curious, if you want the better Super Game Boy. Um, I haven't really priced those out, so, you know, uh, I would take a, I'd take a look on eBay or something like that and do some research if you're gonna buy one of those uh, Japanese versions um, but yeah I think the Super Game Boy is uh, uh, probably the best way to give your uh, Nintendo Super Nintendo anyways uh, more replay value especially if you if you bought a Super Nintendo for a good price um, and then you're trying to collect for the Super Nintendo then playing games on it's almost impossible because the, the, the value of the games have went up. But if you can get the Super Game Boy and put your Game Boy games in it, then you can have some uh, playability and use of your Super Nintendo. So I, I would check that out. Um, and uh, I hope to come out with some more videos soon. So please rate, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Give it a thumbs up, a thumbs down if you want to. Don't hurt my feelings. I'm just kidding. I don't really give a shit. Uh, <laughs> as you guys probably already know by now if you're already subscribed. But this is uh, Ken with XMod signing out. Have a good one.